What's poppin'? Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of your number one talk show, The Chat with your favorite girl, ITBC TBE. The Chat to Ice is an all round entertainment talk show that features great and exclusive interviews of your favorite celebrities and personalities in the entertainment industry. On today's episode of the show, I have one very angry man, you know, he's the king of Agidi himself. He's a comedian, guys. Give it up for the one and the only MC Lively. Woo! Hi, Lively. How you doing? Okay. Your outfit is nice. Yeah, thank like God. Yeah, come this back, is, This is really nice. Okay, 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 let's. My style is a bad one. I don't know where to buy it. But it's really nice, I must confess. Thank you. So let, let, let's talk about you a bit. Let's just tell me a bit about you. What's up with the. Um, I tell you a bit about me. Bito, you say I should tell you a bit about me. Okay. I'm tall. Yes. And I'm comparing. I'm chocolating. Like, we can actually see you, like You say tell you bit about me. Okay, tell us about you. I'm still like you. No, know, I first say bit. Yeah, when you don't know what you want, that's what used to happen to you. We're so like, sorry. Especially Nigerian guests, people don't know what you want. Mm. You said that you beat about me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me know my name. My name is Michael. I'm a lawyer. I'm a Nigerian about 2016. Uh, I'm the second child in the family of five. Uh, I'm a very calm person when I'm not angry. Uh, yeah, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I like, I'm angry. I'm I like that. Yeah. I'm a comedian by profession. Okay. And um. Okay. So tell us, what inspired the brand MC Lively? Okay, I used to be an MC. Okay. Um, uh, I was an MC. I started MC professionally when I was in five hundred level in school. But before then, I already earned the nickname Lively when I was in hundred level. A friend of mine. Said I was too, I was too lively. I used to stop yeah. the whole neighborhood. Yes, you do actually. Me and um, when I was MC, I just really picked my nickname and joined it together. And I started yeah. MC. I didn't see myself as a comedian, however. I didn't know I was going to do comedy. Even though I always loved comedy, okay. I didn't know I was going to do comedy until another friend uh, was doing a comedy show. I decided we should do it together. I'm like, bros, I'm not a comedian. There's no way I can do a comedy show. It's like, no, you can do it. Kiss me. I said, okay, I can do it. I didn't do it. I think <laughs> I didn't do anything. When I enter and change joke that time, bed. You know bed, that is like hey, no. don't use that. <laughs> and you know, even when my girl, not everybody supports me. I only mean support myself. Even my girl don't laugh to the joke I crack. <laughs> It was terrible. My my startup was terrible. Okay. I think it was just maybe after that I did my first show. Um, it was very rocky. I did a couple of I performed a couple of um, comedy shows and stand up comedy. Yeah. Same same story. It was terrible. It was terrible. I almost gave up. I almost gave up. But but then um, I was about to go to law school. Yes, I was about to go to law school. I almost gave up, but then when I when I was going to law school, I determined that in law school, whatever talent I have, I'm going to use it, use it to the maximum. Yeah. To the maximum. So I didn't go to law school to read, really. I went to law school to test my, my talent. That's what I went to law school to read. So when I was in law school, anyone who went to law school would really tell you that guy is a lousy, he's a lousy guy. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I just ah. <laughs> We used to create events. There's no event. We create events that time. We create, said there must be events. February 14th, we did events. It's not that I'm not doing law school. Because I knew that that was my lifeline. Yeah. That's the last time I had to, Do to explore. Yeah. Because there's, there's something about being a lawyer, studying law. There's various stages. Okay. If you have a talent when you're studying law and you wait till you complete school okay. before you explore your talent, you most likely go home before you explore your talent. Do you understand? Because there's a lot of requirements. After law school, there's a youth service. After youth service, there's a privilege where you have to learn in chambers. It never stops. And it also applies for every, every, other, every, other, every other work of life. Do you understand? It never stops. So whatever it is that you have, you have to start at that point in time. So I knew that that was my last option. 
you didn't have to just explore. That's when I actually explored and found yeah. out what I could do. So when I went to, when I was doing the law school, it was, it was all experiment and youth service here. That's when I started my comedy skills, my everything, everything I got. Now let's go to let's go to the industry, your comedy skits and all. Yeah. Yeah, how's the industry been for you? Like you've been out now for since you since you got that boom. How's it been for you in the industry? Just over here. Yeah. Just over here. Um it's been a study for me. It's been a year of um, of learning. I've learned a lot this year. I've learned a lot. I've learned yeah. quite a lot. Which um, I'm, I'm glad it did not come at me like bang. I'm glad it kept coming little by little. little. Yeah. Because if it came at me bang, I'm sure I probably would have messed it up. Because I'm the kind of person that I always wanted to learn. Okay. Do you understand? I always want, yeah. I'm, I'm the kind of person that always wants to learn. I like to meet people who have always been in the industry, speak to them, learn yeah. from them. And um, I'm glad that my, my, my progress was steady and not all at once. Yeah. I'm really glad it was. Okay. So the industry has been a learning process from the beginning. Okay, so, you know, you started this road interview thing. You really yeah. want, you, you actually want to start this whole, um, you being an angry man on the road and all. Yeah. There are so many guys that do these things right now. Okay. Do you see anybody like, probably someone trying to copy your style? Do you have, a, do you have an issue with any of I certainly don't. Okay. There is nothing original. There is nothing new. Okay. The truth about the truth about life is, whatever it is that you are doing, someone has gone in another way. Do you understand? Yeah. Whatever it is that you are doing, or that you want to do, it has already. There's nothing new under the sun. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. I remember that when I was when I was um, starting out, I had a particular room on your Yeah, I love it. I had a particular room on Fangdonga. So you would see some sort of similarity in what I with, with what I do, just then, and what my role model has done. So it's not bad if someone sees what I'm doing and says, okay, "Oh, I can improve that. on that. Yeah. I can do that in a separate way." Just know what I'm saying. Now I I, um, I realized that the best way to channel my comedy is to tell my story. What's my story? I'm a graduate. I'm a lawyer. I'm unemployed, and that's basically what I do, even in my rants. Yeah. What I do basically is an unemployed youth who has never got to a job. Who has ever even got to the interview? Do you understand? So angry man. Just basically. an angry man, basically. Just an angry man. So I'm just telling my story. So if there's another person who, of course, you know many unemployed youths, unemployed yeah, graduates anyway. in Nigeria. Yeah. So if there's another person who wants to tell that story, or wants to tell it in a separate way, maybe on the street, anything, it's fine. Very easy. It's too. fine. Very fine. Okay, so the online comedy scene has been recording tremendous growth in the last three to four years. Yeah. Like, there's no denying anymore that the industry is growing. Yeah. Who and who do you think are your greatest influence in the industry? Like I already said, Frank Donga. Only Frank Donga. Frank Donga is, is a very huge one. Then also, um, Basket and Bobby. Why? Because Basket and Bobby are exceptional stand up comedians. Yeah. Despite that, sometime in 2014, 2015, 2016, we realized that there were a lot of comedy skits put out of Basket and Bobby. Okay. Yes, a lot of three minutes, two minutes skits. I can, I'm sure, off the top of my head, I can think about ten right now, off the top of my head. So it was, it was them, and of course Frank Nunga, Frank Nunga with his interview series. Yeah. Just like, I think it was them that really opened the pathway to let people know that there are other ways to showcase your craft. Okay. Rather than just than go on stage. Of course, you know there are different forms of comedy. Did you see anybody as a competition in the industry? Competition. Um, would I say competition or colleagues? I would, I would rather call them colleagues than competitors. Okay. I have a couple of colleagues that, of course, I are friends. Um, okay, they, they probably used to be competition, then they became colleagues and now friends. Okay. Just that. Um, yeah. I have a couple. I have Lassisi, um, Brother Shaggy, Nedu, Josh Tufani. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You know? Yeah, yes. You know? Just, uh, just. Yeah. 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 I think guys that um, became at the same time, yeah. myself, as you see, was like, this guy who became a couple of other guys that were not able to remember. Okay, so, Lively. Tell us, you know me, I'm a fan of Lively. So before, all the before, it's serious. 
You know, you, no, you know, yeah, no, calm down. We're getting, we're, we're Check getting there. That's why I say, do it fast. Calm down. So tell us your fans. What do you do to relax? Eh? What do you do to relax? Are you always? I watch hmm. football. I play video games. You watch football? Yes. I'm a I big football fan football. of football. football. What, what's your favorite team? Arsenal. I play video games. No, for, for that <laughs> laughter, what was your So as I'm saying, because it's not them I'm saying, as I'm saying, so I watch football. I play video games. As I'm saying, John, football. I watch football. I play video games. Sometimes I go to cinema. But I stop going to the cinema now. I think we should have like a cinema date, a movie going. date. I'll stop Let's just reinvent that for us. I said I'll stop going. What's part of that? Carry it around now. Somebody say, hey, you always see me. Hey, Lively, like, what do you think? Let's just do that kind of best friend goals thing. Will you not know, allow me to say what I have to say? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, somebody say that they always see me. You don't see me. What get it? I don't know. Whether it's one, whether it's two. I hear it's two different things. Say, me, I'm always coming to you now. <laughs> no, are you working there? <laughs> are you working there? How do you know that? I'm always in the. Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, people are weekend. Maybe it's one day she see me. She say, ah, you always see me there. The different guest. Okay. So you, it's one boy you came there with the first day that you saw me. The second time you, hypocrisy is not good. Hypocrisy, if uh, the Sadducee uh, behavior, uh, Pharisee behavior is not good. Do you want me to help you? Sorry, excuse me. I'm even Pharisee in the Bible, that's why they go to a fire. All the Pharisee, all of them, even all the Pharisee, Sadducee, that's what they are doing. But lively, take it easy. Like, I'm, I'm just... easy. Sorry, I told you guys he's an angry man. I'm not angry. Always that angry. matter that they talk about. How can you say okay? You see me, you see me. Are you what? Are you an attendant? Oh, okay, okay. Are you man? Are you looking at me now? I'm not working. You know, maybe I'm gonna send this text. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is that you have, please leave lively alone. Leave lively alone. So, so if you see him, don't see him. But well, we're gonna have like a date. I'm not it going. Be... Don't. Don't. Okay, let's I'm go. not interested. I'm not doing. I'm sorry. I have girlfriend. Ha. So if you have a girlfriend, we're coming to that. We're coming. I said I have a girlfriend. Okay, I said I what? I did say I have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's your funny to be gone. What do, you think, what do you think should be done to reduce the rate of unemployment? Increase the minimum wage, first of all. Don't tell me what do I think should be done. Every time it's just what, what, what we are saying. Nobody's doing anything. They first go and increase that minimum wage. Okay. 30,000. What do 30,000 want to do? Now, I'm, I'm complaining that I'm satisfied that I come here. Like, that is still in one. Out of Titan, how much is that? Is that not 10%? One tip. <laughs> okay, Lively. Tell us about your most embarrassing moment. I don't have the most embarrassing moment. Really? You can't even have a car, remember? Just remember one, just one. That was really embarrassing. Probably like a fan or something. You don't have crazy fans? Yeah. Ah. I don't remember. Lively, you don't want to tell us. I don't remember, I don't usually remember back. So no girl has come to, oh, I'm still lively, and just, you know, just kind of, and just give you like a kiss or something. <laughs> Is that what you call embarrassing? Yeah. It's not embarrassing, oh, if you want to do it, do it to me, oh. <laughs> that would be not embarrassing me. Uh, why are you discouraging people from being ugly and kicking me? It's not embarrassing at all. Okay, lively. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you know, there, there are so many things. Or maybe someone has actually seen you and someone has... No, it has not happened. Get the what to do it. Okay, so you guys heard, if you see like, MC Lively and you want to hug and, you know, kiss him, you know, you could do that to him. Oh, the Chico, not because uh, Mr. Block, they are watching everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Block, they are, I don't know where they are staying. Jamie I don't know Lock. where they are living. He's just here. Yeah, um, just, I don't know whether it's the young police there. <laughs> okay, so Lively, tell us. There's so many young guys out there that want to be like you. Five things you, you should want to tell them, five things they should not do. Um, <clears throat> a friend of mine, um, he did grow up to you, actually. Um, he told me, it's best not to advise people because the truth is you're only going to advise them based on your own experience. Yeah. But even if I'm going to advise based on my experience, then I'm probably going to tell you the five things that I've done that I don't think you should do. Yeah. And the first one is, especially when you, when you want to be an online comedian, the yeah. first one is to, it's a very bad thing when you are obsessed with your followers. The number of your followers. Yeah, like always. It's a very bad thing when you are obsessed. Not the word. I'm not saying you should not care about it. Yeah. I'm saying when you are obsessed with it, it's, it has a negative effect in the sense that you worry more about 
how many people are following you then what value you want yeah, to do that know, yeah just that it's a um fault i had at some point just that which i realized it didn't really do any good for you yeah so it's better to concentrate on what you want to put out the followers will come as long as you're putting out sensible good content. content yeah sensible funny content yeah content. so you should not focus on focus on the content rather than the follower follower that's number one then um, I'm not able to give up to five books. Just, I don't just know give I up the ones that. And that thing I think um, people should really focus on is don't worry about competition. Because I've been doing it for six months, one year, yeah. two years, and someone will come out within one, two months, gets more followers than they have. Definitely. Gets more popular than they are. Definitely. It does not mean that your content is not going to be validated. It has absolutely no reflection. Yeah. People just have different times. Just like people yeah. have different times. So, as a human being, it's natural to worry when something like that happens. So don't take the worry over the top. Okay, so you heard that from MC Lively. Okay, so guys, we've come to the end of this segment. Now we're going to my favorite segment, and that is the truth. You know, I'm adding a little bit of spice to it today, so guys, stay tuned. So, MC Lively, four questions. Then I have just one thing that you have to do. Just one. So, we have like 70 questions. 70 questions? Yeah, so just pick the one you want. <laughs> pick the one you want. It's a true segment. So, I should pick one to 70, I think. 25. 25, MC Lively. I don't know why this question just always comes. I don't always put this like. Ask what you ask. Okay, do you watch XXX videos? If you do, when was the last time you saw one? <laughs> I don't watch occasional. I don't watch frequently. Okay. I'm human now. I watch occasional. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Do you watch occasional? What's your favorite sign? Do you have a favorite? You know what is it? The one that turns me on most, I think. Um, probably girl and girl. Uh, I didn't hear that. Probably girl and girl. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you heard that from MC Lively. Let me land that one. You want to cast me as you? You get the sound. Another one? Yeah. 13. 13. <laughs> what was the last time you went to a strip club? Never been. You've not been to school? Never ever. Me too. I think we should have like. Ah, everything you think <laughs> we should. Everything you think we I'm should. I'm just saying. I'm not going. I, I need like a partner to do I'm all not the things. You know, I just want to explore. I'm not partnering. You go and put it on Tinder. Like you're looking for who you want to be. It's me you want to be going to strip club. <laughs> okay, another one. Another one. 70. 70. 70. If we are to be left alone in a room, what would you do to me? Hey! If one don't want to know that thing that you say, I will offer you. Jesus Christ. You can imagine me in that place. Oh my god, okay. The fourth one. Well, it depends though. If it's your period, I want your period. Your period. <laughs> What now? Ask you, uh, 58. 58. 58. <laughs> okay. Okay. One thing you do before bedtime. What do you do before you go to bed? Uh, most likely, see a movie. Movies make me sleep, so I must like Okay. On my phone, I just watch a movie on my phone and I fall asleep. What kind, of, really what kind of movies do you like? I like. Um, I like these Mexican movies. That has crime. When they speak other languages like Spanish, because it makes me feel like I know the language. Just like that. <laughs> I'm watching Money Eyes right now. I don't time to oh my God, that's my movie. You know, you La know, puta. you know. I'm Tokyo, you know. Like you're a puta. <laughs> so it makes me have to feel that I know the language. Okay, like, lively. One last thing. You know, you have two things. Either you rap for us, or you do ten push-ups. Let me rap. Okay, do you want me to give you a bit? No, you don't. 
Give me beat. You beat to rap. Oh yeah. I'm giving you a bit. <laughs> okay, guys, we've come to the end of this segment of the show, and I'm super excited. Thank you for coming on the show, MC Lively. It was nice having you on the show. Okay, guys, you can follow MC Lively on Instagram. What's your Instagram MC handle? MC underscore Lively. Twitter, do you do Twitter? Twitter? MC underscore Lively underscore. I like Twitter more than Instagram. I love it too. Okay, guys. Uh, Which other one? Snapchat? Snapchat? I don't, I don't, I don't, you don't Snapchat? I don't know why. I don't know Snapchat. Okay, guys, so you Facebook, head up, follow MC Lively. Everywhere. MC Lively. Don't forget to follow the chat your eyes on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere at the chat with eyes. Follow me, your favorite girl. At ITZ, ICE underscore NAJ, guys. Don't forget, chat your eyes and be wise. Peace out. <laughs>